4.8 million jobs added in June, but clouds grow over economy. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. In fact, we're going to see more people staying home, she said. The problem is that the longer the public health crisis drags on, the more permanent damage is done to the economy. Total employment has grown the past two months because companies have begun recalling temporarily laid off workers. But layoffs have continued as the economic effects of the pandemic ripple through the economy, reaching businesses and industries that were spared earlier. If businesses can't reopen, or can return only at a fraction of their previous sales, many temporary job losses are likely to become permanent. The number of people reporting they had permanently lost their jobs rose in June even as the number of workers on temporary layoff fell sharply for the second consecutive month. We're going on four months now, said Alug Benga Jalor, a senior economist at the Center for American Progress, a progressive group. There's only so long that these businesses can hold out before it just doesn't become feasible. The good news is that the strong job gains in May and June suggest that the permanent economic damage so far has been relatively limited, in part because of the trillions of dollars of emergency spending authorized by Congress. Most of those out of work still say they expect to return to their old jobs eventually, and companies are bringing back furloughed workers at a faster rate than many economists predicted a few months ago. Hand and Stone, a national chain of massage studios and facial spas, survived the shutdown more or less intact. By Monday, 420 of its 465 locations had reopened, with 35 more expected to do so by the end of this month. Only a handful of locations have closed permanently. And about 70% of members continued paying monthly dues during the shutdown, banking massages for the future rather than cancelling their contracts. Todd Leff, the company's chief executive, said that so far, at least, customers seemed comfortable. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.